Good day and welcome to our show where we shed light on parables, stories, people, saints from our holy tradition in order to learn how to live on earth as it is in heaven. Today we shall listen to the words of Saint Nikolai Velimirovich regarding our most holy Theotok starting from the testimonial words of St. Dionysius when he visited her in Jerusalem. In fact, St. Dionysius writes of the immeasurable joy, the outer and inner radiance, and the indescribable fragrance that he sensed in the presence of the holy Theotokos when he visited her in Jerusalem. In his zeal, he says, that he, if he had not known the one true God, he would have recognized her, the Holy Virgin Mary, as God. The Holy Virgin made such a powerful and unique impression on men during her earthly life, and she received an incomparably greater power and glory after her physical death, when by the will of God she was exalted above the heavenly hosts. Her power comes from her ceaseless prayer for the faithful, for all those who turn to her for help. When Saint John of Novgorod and his people prayed to her for help against a hostile army, he understood that she was simultaneously praying to the Lord with tears in their behalf, and Novgorod was miraculously saved as she was compassionate towards her crucified Son, so the Holy Most Pure One is also compassionate towards all those in need and who turn to her for help. It could be said that the entire earth is covered by the miracles of her mercy. Even today, there lives in Belgrade a cafe owner who was born in the village of Macedonia outside Struga. His mother brought him blind to the monastery of Callisto, where after the priest prayed over him before the icon of the Most Holy Theotokos, he received his sight. The first monk at Pochev saw a fiery pillar extending from earth to heaven, and in that flaming pillar, he saw the Most Holy Theotokos. She was standing on a rock. On the spot where she stood, a spring of healing water sprang forth. Even today, it heals many of the sick. This is some of what Saint Nikolai Velimirovich wrote about our mother, the Most Holy Theotokos, who is a living example to all of us on how to live on earth as it is in heaven. Amen.